So ladies and gentlemen, bonjour à tous. Welcome to MFUC and Paritech webinar. My name is Iqmal Afifuddin from Malaysia France University Center, and I'll be responsible for hosting this webinar. First and foremost, I would like to introduce you to our speakers for today's sessions. From Paritech representative, we will have Laura Villet, and from Campus France and MFUC representative, we have Alice Lemoyer. I would also like to welcome representatives from the different Paritech schools that we have here as our panelists. For your information, this webinar aims to explain to, your, to you about the Paritech International Admission Program, scholarship opportunity, as well as pre-departure procedure. Today's webinar will be divided into three main sessions. The first one will be a presentation by Paritech and followed by a brief presentation by MFUC and then we will have a Q&A session at the end. We hope that this webinar will be able to assist Malaysian students in pursuing their engineering studies in France. Before I pass the floor to our first speaker, we will begin by watching a video clip prepared by Campus France on engineering studies in France. Les sciences de l'ingénieur sont un des domaines d'excellence de l'enseignement supérieur français. Elles permettent aujourd'hui à plus de 800 000 ingénieurs de travailler dans des domaines aussi variés que le génie civil, l'informatique, l'aéronautique, l'agronomie, l'électronique, les transports, la santé, l'énergie, l'intelligence artificielle ou la défense. Vous avez un profil scientifique Vous êtes attiré par les technologies et aimez travailler en équipe si vous souhaitez exercer un métier qui permettra de répondre aux défis du monde contemporain, les sciences de l'ingénieur sont faites pour vous. La France vous offre plusieurs options. Tout d'abord, vous pouvez préparer un BTS ou un DUT qui vous donnera en deux ans une spécialisation technique. Vous pouvez aussi choisir de préparer les concours des écoles d'ingénieurs en intégrant une classe préparatoire aux grandes écoles ou une prépa intégrée. L'université vous offre, elle, la possibilité de préparer une licence généraliste en trois ans ou une licence professionnelle en un an dans la filière sciences, technologie, santé. Pour le niveau master, vous aurez deux possibilités. Soit de préparer en deux ans un master en ingénierie dans une université, soit de préparer en trois ans un diplôme d'ingénieur dans une école d'ingénieurs accréditée par la CPI. C'est un diplôme national de haut niveau avec une forte dimension managériale, technique et internationale. Il existe plus de 70 universités et plus de 200 écoles d'ingénieurs en France. Elles sont regroupées au sein de la CPI, de la CDFI et de la CGE. Certaines écoles d'ingénieurs sont généralistes, d'autres spécialisées. A vous de choisir le domaine qui vous intéresse. Enfin, si vous avez déjà un master ou un diplôme d'ingénieur, vous pouvez préparer un doctorat. Une trentaine d'écoles doctorales sont spécialisées dans les sciences pour l'ingénieur. Chaque année, 20 000 étudiants étrangers font le choix des études d'ingénieur à la française. Venez les rejoindre. C'est la garantie d'obtenir un profil très recherché des entreprises et de s'engager vers une carrière passionnante en France ou à l'international. A bientôt en France Thank you, Alice, for the video. So just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any question during the presentation, please type them into the question box in your Zoom webinar control panel. I will bring them up during the Q&A session at the end. Now, without further ado, I would love to pass the screen to Paritech representative Laura Villette. The floor is yours. Uh, sorry, I think you are muted. Sorry, okay, that's my fault. Right. <laughs> nice to meet you all. So, uh, so to be more precise, I'm the representative of Paritech in Asia. Um, uh, I will, do you see my screen? Is it okay? Yes, I can see it. Okay, great. So I will start with a brief introduction on Paritech. So Paritech is the alliance of the most prestigious graduate schools of engineering and science in France. So the schools of Paritech share common identity, vision, values, such as excellence, openness, innovation, and solidarity, and have a common mission that is to train leaders that can break down scientific and technological barriers to tackle major challenges, and in particular, global warming and sustainable development. So Paritech Consortium counts <coughs> seven schools, seven grandes écoles, 
Agro Paris Tech, Arrêt Métier, Chimie Paris Tech, École des Ponts Paris Tech, euh, ISPCI Paris PSL, Institut d'Optique et Mine Paris Tech PSL. The, the seven schools are located on three campuses, the main campuses being Central Paris. Um, they either belong, <laughs> sorry, uh, the part is <laughs> The Paritech schools, uh, for some of them, belong to Paris Saclay University. That's the case for Agro Paritech et Institut d'Optique. PSL University for Mean Paritech, Chimie Paritech, and the SPCI Paris PSL. Uh, to SM University for RMC. <coughs> A few key numbers about Paritech and its schools. Altogether, the school count 12,500 students, uh, 1,700 PhD candidates. 1,500 professors, more than 70 international agreements, 58 teaching and research chairs with more than 120 companies, partner companies, and worldwide, uh, all seven schools count <coughs> 90,000 alumni. The Paritech schools have a long history. The oldest school was founded in 1750. The youngest school was founded more than 100 years ago. And they have a long tradition of scientific excellence with um, quite a lot of Nobel Prizes, such as Pierre and Marie Curie, um, Pierre Gilles de Gênes, or Wolf Prizes uh, like Alain Aspé. And um, the Paritech and it's the, the Paritech schools left uh, a mark in history. Some of the names here you might have heard of already. Uh, such as Fulgon Bienvenue, the chief engineer of the Paris subway, Junori Poincaré, <coughs> mathematician, or Paul Langevin, the, the inventor of the, the sonar. I will not read it all <laughs> today as time is limited, but you will get the PPT. But the strengths of Paritech Network, the first strength is that it's, uh, the schools are very internationalized, they count an average of 30% of international students coming from 75 different countries. And together the school has over 70 uh, agreements with international partner universities. Another of their strengths is the permanent connection with companies. As I said before, there are more than 120 partner companies, uh, 58 teaching and researchers, and uh, a third of the doctoral programs are by companies. The partnership can <laughs> translate into uh, research institutes such as the Sustainable Mobility Institute, the lab, lab research environment with Vinci, etc. Another strength of our schools is the, the importance of innovation and entrepreneurship uh, in the schools. Uh, the schools are committed to support and to implement entrepreneurship and innovation projects and hence uh, over 700 uh, projects were incubated in the schools, among which 80% uh, have been existing for more than five years. So there's, uh, in Paritech schools, there's a network of incubators. Here you have a, a list, uh, such as Agoranov, uh, 503, uh, Incubator Descartes, etc. If you want more information, of course, you can check the, the school's website. Um, as I mentioned before, the permanent connection with companies is very important for our schools. Here we have a few of them. Um, most are MNCs, so you've probably already heard of them, such as L'Oréal, Gannon, etc. And of course, the Paritech alumni are also key players of the economic world. A lot of them um, um, lead uh, major companies uh, worldwide. So here you have the companies they lead and the schools they graduated from. And as I mentioned before, a uh, few startups are quite successful and you probably also heard about a few of them there. Uh, and some of them more specialized in specific uh, domain. The alumni network uh, counts over 90,000 people coming from all seven schools. Um, 13 countries have their own alumni group, so we hope in the future that Malaysia will have its own Paritech alumni group. 
uh, in China. Uh, it's close to 3,000 alumni are working here, either uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese returnees or uh, international alumni coming to work in China. And our alumni work around eight medic groups that are dedicated either to business, innovation, energy, finance, etc. So how is it like to study at uh, Paritech? To study engineering at Paritech. So the Paritech International Admission Program aims at recruiting students uh, for the last two years of the Master of Science in Engineering, what is called in France uh, Diplôme d'Ingénieur. Um, normally, it's a three-year program, but for students we recruit through the Paritech International Admission Program, we recruit them once they complete their bachelor in their home um, university, and then they enter the second and third year of uh, the Paritech schools they are admitted at. And after two years, they obtain the Diplôme d'Ingénieur, which uh, has the same grade as a master's degree. Um, the Paritech schools are highly selective schools and they lead to 100% employability. So here, that's the scheme for uh, French students. So what you'll see is that they are selected after their <coughs> A-levels, uh, they go through prep class, uh, and then they um, has a concours and a um, competitive exam to enter the Paritech schools. So you'll see that each time there are less and less people that are are admitted, so it's very selective schools. And the end of training the SNT multicultural engineers, entrepreneurs, managers that are able to adapt to professional, different professional environments and to address global challenges. Of course, uh, the employability rate is 100%, but some of them might also choose to pursue a PhD. And depending on the school, that may vary from 10% to 70% of the students in the, the, the biotech schools. Uh, engineering studies are very, compre is a, are com very comprehensive education. So they require excellent, uh, there are um, excellent s and research-based education um, in mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and, or in computer science. But they also, uh, the curriculum, also uh, have a big part dedicated to economics, management, entrepreneurship, communication, foreign languages, and those schools try to develop soft skills and professional skills of their students through multidisciplinary studies, teamwork, internship, um, projects, etc. So All together, uh, it makes for a high uh, qualitative research-based education addressing social and environmental challenges. What you have to know is that most of the courses are taught in French. Um, once admitted at the tech schools for the visa, usually um, um, BE level or even B2 level will be required for you to go to France. But for graduation from the Paritech schools, it is required that before you finish those two years, uh, you do reach the, the level B2 in France. So the curricula are uh, high quality and innovating the, the, when it comes to the teaching methods. So um, the curricula include both theory and practice. Uh, you have courses, but you also have practical exercises. Uh, they also include a lot of teamwork, uh, projects that are either individu uh, individually done or group projects. A big part dedicated to internships in companies and or in a lab, the, uh, the, the length of the internship may vary from two to six months. You will be initiated to research. And of course, the curricula, all curricula in our text have a part dedicated to international mobility. Um, so it, I don't know how to say it. There is also a very limited, since it's very selective school, there is also a limited number of admitted students that enables uh, a, personalized curricula, uh, the promotions are rather small, and hence the student to faculty ratio is very good. It's on average, five students for one professor. And the teaching faculty, I should say here, also brings together professors and experts from companies. Again, so we have very strong links uh, with companies because you have compulsory internship through the curriculum, as I mentioned before. A lot of uh, projects, s and projects, will be proposed by companies. 
throughout your uh, stay in our schools, you will also have meetings with companies um, to present you the jobs that are offered within their company. Uh, you will have discussions with alumni working in the company. Uh, sometimes, uh, sorry, uh, companies sponsor classes for visits, skill sponsorship. Um, some schools have an entrepreneurship track that you can attend. Um, some schools also have possibility for apprenticeship, so it was, you can spend half, um, if you'll say, in a company, half of the school. Uh, and companies also contribute to the strategic decision of the schools, either as executive board members uh, or as teaching and research partners. There is, uh, at last, a junior enterprise in each school. Um, a common value that uh, all Maritech uh, schools share, too, is that they all engage towards sustainability. So they all all schools aimed, aim at training engineers with a sense of uh, responsibility toward development goals. And very important for us, it's also one of the strong values of Paritech is that, and its schools, of course, is that women are welcome in Paritech schools. You'll see that the average uh, of women uh, studying in uh, engineering schools in France is 28%, uh, whereas the average in Paritech schools is 35%. Some of the schools um, even having more women than men uh, studying. So there are uh, continuous efforts made by the schools in favor of women in engineering, uh, through supporting young girls in high school, education, uh, specific support uh, for women. Here I will go uh, a bit faster maybe, but, uh, but it's a big question too. Why should you choose France? Um, you should choose France because it's also, France also represents excellence in s and and economics. It's the sixth economic power in the world. Um, the excellence of its higher education system is recognized in, in, internationally, and it's the fifth destination in the world for international students. Such. Um, and it's also, France is an s and leader uh, worldwide, the country of mathematicians. Uh, France also does excellence in a lot of domains, for instance, chemistry, civil engineering, physics. France has a lot of Nobel Prizes and field medals, and a lot of world famous research organizations, uh, such as the DNRS, NRI, NSERM, CEA, etc. It's also one of the reasons you should choose France because it's the country of culture. So, in France, you'll both find tradition, art, history, quality of life. Um, and strong values that are very important in France, such as freedom, equality, brotherhood, uh, critical thinking, too, uh, strong, a strong attachment to science and innovation. And France also has a key role to play in ecological transition and climate change. Last, one of the reasons to choose France is its language, French language. It's the official language of more than 300 million people in the world. It's the fifth language in the world. And it's also the fifth most important language for business in the world after English and Chinese Mandarin. And since most of the schools are located in Paris, why should you choose Paris? Because there's a strong network of companies, more than 800,000 companies are located in Paris. Uh, Paris is also one of the world's best student cities. And um, last 40% sorry, of national investment in research and development is made uh, in the Parisian region. It's a very brief introduction on the Paris Tech schools. So if you want detailed uh, presentation of the Paris Tech schools, we invite you. There are videos or there is there are websites dedicated to that. Here is just so that you know what are the the domains, the specialties you can find in Paritech schools. So you see Paritech covers this, and its schools cover science and technology from A to Z. So that's all the domains you can find. But if you are quick enough to find the domain you're interested in, I will move on to the next one. 
you should also choose Paritech schools because they are top ranked uh, schools. Uh, some of them are ranked um, through their, the university they belong to, such as Agro Paritech or Institut d'Optique, uh, or uh, through Paris Agro University, or uh, Chimie, ESPCI, and MIN through PSL University. And some of the schools are ranked on their own, such as Paris Métier et École des Ponts. So here you can see, for instance, that Paris Tech the University is ranked number 14 in the Shanghai ranking, and PSI University 36. Uh, I will not read all of this. You can, again, find all this information uh, on our website, and we will give you the, the PPT. So now, when it comes more specifically, so after all I said, if you still are interested in joining a Paris Tech uh, school, which I hope, I will detail the Paris Tech International Admission Program. So this uh, international admission program opened uh, this year to students from a dozen new countries and regions in Asia, including Malaysia. So there are a few prerequisites to apply to this program. The first being where you come from. So the, the, the international admission program is not open to all countries in the world, but just specifically targeted regions. And in Asia, it does include Malaysia. So if you come from Malaysia, uh, there is no, you don't have to come from one of Paritech partner universities. You can come from any university. Another prerequisite to, um, for the Paritech International Admission Program is excellent. Because the competition is uh, quite selective. So we uh, required that uh, by the time uh, September 2021, you should have successfully completed at least six semesters of a bachelor degree in science, in engineering, or in economics. And in the case of economics, you have a strong background in mathematics. Um, we recommend that you have excellent academic records. Uh, the recommendation we usually give is that your uh, average GPAs are above 80 and you rank among the first 20% uh, students of your class. You should have excellent level in mathematics and physics and also uh, proficiency in courses that are significant in the domain you apply for. Uh, for instance, uh, life science, chemistry, or computer science. You should of course have good command of written and spoken English. Um, and simply and firstly to, 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 to be able to complete uh, the application process. And uh, you should be ready to learn French if you don't speak it already before you go to France once you've been admitted to a Paris Tech school. Because as I said before, you, once you start in France, you will be studying mostly in French. Um, so that uh, the Paritech International Admission Program for Asia. So at the moment of your application to uh, the International Admission Program, you should um, be at the end of your third year bachelor or at the beginning of the, your fourth year of bachelor. And then uh, once admitted by the end of November, you will have until, um, until, until uh, July of the next year to, to, to study French. But I will go back to the agenda in a few minutes. So before uh, you decide to apply to the Paritech International Admission Program, um, you should uh, first check if uh, the specialty, the domain you're interested in is covered by the Paritech um, schools. So here you have um, a form in which you can find the, the, the Paritech schools uh, specialties and domain. We strongly recommend that you first also check our website and the school's website to make sure that uh, you can find what you are looking for in our schools. The calendar and the steps of the international admission program are, uh, I go back. But if you want to find the, the calendar and the steps of the international admission program, there are two uh, websites, two major websites to find the information about it. Um, the first website is parastech.fr and on this one you will find all the information about the schools and uh, the links to the school's website. Um, the second website is dedicated to the international admission program. It's called studywithus.parastech.fr. <clears throat> so that's the homepage of the website you can see on my 
the right of my screen. So if you come from Malaysia and you want to have more information <clears throat> about the, the international admission program, you should click on the homepage on Asia. If you have any question or before you ask any question, uh, you can also check the FAQ. Down the FAQ, you will find the most frequently asked questions, as it says, obviously. So you can first check um, check it on the Study With Us website, and then if you didn't, you didn't find any answer to your question, then come back. Of course, another way to get a lot of information on the, 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 the program is to uh, follow us on our social network accounts. That's a good opportunity, uh, especially, for instance, on YouTube or Facebook, to check the videos, uh, the testimonies of alumni, of students that are currently studying in our schools. So you can learn more through, um, uh, through, through these people. Okay. Concerning the application, there are a few steps. So the first step does not concern you. Uh, that's only for uh, uh, other countries. So for you, the first step would be application. You have to submit your online application form uh, to Paris Tech from June 1st, 2021 to September 21, 2021. Uh, beside the online application form, you, there is also a list of required documents that you, you should upload on the platform. Uh, a copy of your identification document, a picture, a resume, a transcript of records uh, in English, professional project letter, official ranking certificates, and when available, uh, foreign language certificates, at least in English, and two letters of recommendation. That's why you have to prepare it in advance. If you want to apply to the program, you should not wait until the last moment because you have to keep in mind that you should ask uh, two letters of recommendation, and you should certify your transcripts and ranking certificate by your own university. The second step in your case would be the selection procedure. Um, so eligible students will be asked to take an online test, and the test this year will take place on September 20, 2021. If you want to check uh, what the test looks like, again, I invite you to go on the website, study with us, click on the campaign that concerns you, in the case of Malaysia, it's Asia, and you will find uh, programs and tools of uh, the scientific test. Then you move on to the next step, which is the interview. So candidates who successfully passed uh, the, the scientific test are called for an interview. And in the case you are successful for the interview as well, then you will be asked to rank the Paritech schools which are admitted, uh, ready to admit you by preference. That's why you also have to know uh, the most, the more you can about the uh, about the high tech schools. The last step is admission. So you will be informed uh, of the outcome of your application and to which school you have been admitted. Um, here, it's important to say that you should successfully pass each step to be moving on to the next one. So we do check uh, in your application form all the documents you submit. Uh, and then only if you're deemed eligible, you move on to the scientific test. Uh, only if you successfully pass the scientific test, you can move on to the interview. But the good news about this program and the whole application procedure is that it's 100% free. So it does not cost you anything to try. Of course, once you have passed all these steps uh, and you are admitted at the uh, high-tech schools, the last one that is, uh, is that you have to study French if you are not fluent already in French. So for a um, clear view, that's the detailed calendar of the admission process. Uh, so you have all the dates. You'll see that the only difference in the dates uh, is the, um, the interview period. So uh, for Malaysia, the interview period will be 18th to 19th, no, 29th of October, 2021. And you will get the, the publication of admission results on November 20, 2021. The whole application is uh, done online. So the, the application platform uh, is open now. It opened on June 1st, 2021, uh, and it will close on September 21, as I said before. You, when you apply, you have to be careful to pick the right campaign for you. So I, uh, that's the, the, the first page you'll follow on when you click on the link for the application platform. 
Well, for Malaysian students, you have to click on the campaign that's called All the Asian uh, Regions and Countries. Before you go to a Paritech school, you might wonder about the tuition fees. Uh, so here you have a very the detailed form is on uh, tuition fees. The one that concerns students from Malaysia is the, the right side uh, column. Um, so you have to know that the full um, tuition cost amounts up to 18,000 euros a year for uh, engineering schools. But that means that if you look at the prices, uh, they range from a few hundred euros to um, less than 5,000 euros per year. So it means that the French government finances most uh, of the tuition fee uh, for both national and international students. Um, you can also take into consideration uh, when you decide to apply or not to the Paritech International Admission Program, the services you will benefit from uh, before and after you reach France, uh, after you reach France, you will benefit from um, accommodation because most of the school have accommodation on their campuses with affordable rent, less than 400 euros per month. Uh, there's also a possibility in France of a governmental accommodation allowance that will help you cover part of your rent. And we can do account also that the average living cost in Paris for a student is around 800 euros per month. Before leaving for France, you will benefit uh, with that, uh, benefit from assistant assistance with visa procedures. Um, then you will also benefit from intensive language training programs, uh, usually during the summer preceding your arrival in France. Uh, once you reach France, you will benefit uh, from mentoring by senior students and alumni. And of course, once you are in France, um, you're strongly encouraged to actively participate in student activities. So you will not be left alone before and after you you, you go to a Paritech school. Um, if you worry about um, how to finance your stay in France, you, you, you should not. Uh, Paritech supports French and international students' mobility, be it through French governmental uh, scholarships, scholarships supported by Paritech schools within the mobility program of the CVP. Um, for China, there's the China Scholarship Council. Are also local government uh, scholarships, and I think today we will mention mention them after my presentation. And there are scholarships also provided by the, the foundation of the Paritech School. So, if you really want to come to a Paritech School, uh, you should not. Your primary concern should not be uh, how to finance it. If you have trouble financing it, we will find help you find the the, the best solution possible for you. Yeah. And last up, if you have any questions uh, about uh, the, the process, uh, about the international admission, um, you can contact us on this email for Malaysia, asia-admission at paristech.fr. Or if you want to contact me or my colleague Yuan Yuan, we are here today, uh, you can contact the Paritech office in Asia. And you have our emails here. If you, or you can contact us also through, through other social media. If you have very specific questions about the schools, uh, for instance, on their curricula, on anything, you can also directly contact them. So you can contact them on, um, on this email address. And that's all for my presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, we encourage you to ask them through the, the Q&A. Thank you very much, Laura Villette, for the amazing sharing sessions. It was very helpful and interesting, especially the employability rate and women representation at the Paritech. Mm -hmm. So for our participants, please take note that they have a 100% rate of employability, so your future might be secure. So before we move into the next presentation, I would like to remind our participants that you can write your question in the question box and I will bring them up later. So up next, I gladly invite Alice to the screen to explain about scholarship opportunities and preparation before going to France. Alice, the floor is yours. Thank you, Iqmal. Can everybody hear me? Yeah? Yes. Wait. 
So hello everybody, I'm Alice Le Monnier. I'm the French Deputy Director at the Malaysia French University Center and I'm also the representative of Campus France in Malaysia. So just to give you a brief idea of what we do at the Malaysia France University Center, our main objective are to reinforce the cooperation between France and Malaysia in higher education and research. We also try to find programs that best match the needs of Malaysian and French students according to their area of interest. And last but not least, we provide advice, advice to students for their stay in France. So I will mention today a few funding opportunities that you, you could apply for if you are selected for the biotech program. So the first one is our scholarship. It's called MFUC Master Scholarship. So this one is funded by the Embassy of France in Malaysia and it's implemented by the MFUC. And its goal is to support the mobility of Malaysian students who want to pursue their studies in France. And good news, engineering studies are eligible. So the duration of the scholarship can be one or two semesters, uh, but you can apply the following year and we have uh, some uh, scholar recipients who will get a scholarship for the, their whole program for two years. The conditions are to be a Malaysian citizen who have been admitted to a higher education uh, institution in France. So if you're selected for a Paritech program, you are eligible. Uh, the scholarship consists of an allowance of 900 euros per month covering, uh, that will allow, to cover, uh, allow you to cover the expenditure linked to the, the mobility, so your flight, your accommodation, catering. But it also gives you the French government scholar status, which is really interesting because uh, it can give you access to um, uh, public uh, housing accommodation for students uh, or, or this kind of thing. So it's a, a status that's always good to have. Uh, it's also a way the tuition fees for public schools in France. Uh, the application will open in spring 2022. To apply, uh, it's quite easy. It's, you have to, to connect to our, to our website and everything will be explained there. And you can already go check uh, how it works uh, right now. Oh. The other scholarship I wanted to tell you about is the Islamic Development Bank uh, and France co-funded scholarship program. So this one has been launched uh, in 2020. It has been renewed this year and it will probably be renewed next year. Uh, it's designed for students who are entering a bachelor or a master program. Uh, the eligibility criteria, criteria is to be a uh, Malaysian citizen, to be about to study again at undergraduate or postgraduate level in the fields covered by the program. And again, uh, engineering studies are eligible. The benefits are monthly allowance of 700 euros. Uh, it also covers uh, one flight ticket uh, back and forth from France. And, uh, the French, and you will also get the French government scholar status. The application process will be published online on our website in spring 2022 as well. So it's still the same website to get more information. Uh, one of the other scholarship uh, you could apply to is the EPL Scholarship Excellence Program. So this one has been established by the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs to enable uh, French higher education institutions to attract top foreign students for a master or PhD program. So just to give you an idea of the campaign timeline, it opens uh, in October. Usually the deadline uh, to close the, the application is December and the results are out in March or April. So it covers different fields, law, economy, management, political sciences, but uh, what's important for us to know today is that it covers engineering sciences. The benefits consist of uh, an allowance of 1,181 euros per month. It also covers uh, your travel costs, health insurance, uh, and you also get the French government scho scholar status. So it's really, really good scholarship. To apply, uh, the first step of selection is made by the schools or universities in France themselves. So you have to contact the person in, ch in charge of the program you have been selected to or you are interested in to check with them if they are willing to endorse you for this program. For more information, we will send you the PowerPoint presentation that you can check the Campus France website on, on this scholarship. 
Uh, as uh, Laura mentioned, you need to, at some point, you will need to learn French, <laughs> except if you already know it. So I wanted to share with you uh, our recommendation to learn French in, in Malaysia. So uh, in Malaysia, we have two Alliances Françaises. We have one in Kuala Lumpur and one in Penang. So the Alliance Française in Kuala Lumpur uh, has two locations. So if you live closer to Bangsa, you can go to the Bangsa one, or if you prefer, you can go to Laurent Gurney. Uh, they, uh, they have, their teachers are highly qualified and they're all French native speakers. So uh, it's the best way to, to learn French. Uh, it will really, it really allow you to get used to the accent and uh, the speed and uh, everything uh, before you go study in France. Um, so they offer group classes or private tuitions, also intensive or extensive classes. Right now everything is online, but uh, we hope next year it will be also on-site, but you can, you can choose. They also offer a placement test uh, before you sign for the, for the classes, you can check your level. So it's really interesting if you already took some French classes, you don't really know where, where your level is, you can take a placement test, it's really helpful. Uh, it's also the only official center for French language certification. So maybe if you're interested to certify your level. Uh, and what's important also to know is that uh, the Alliance Française is really a hub for the French culture in, in Malaysia, at least in Kuala Lumpur. So they organize uh, cultural events all year long. They also have a French multimedia library. So if you want to dip deeper in the French language and French culture, it's really the place to go. Uh, so I put the link of the Alliance Française in Kuala Lumpur and uh, the Alliance Française in Penang, they offer quite the same uh, kind of programs. They also have uh, French native teachers who are highly qualified. You can uh, do intensive and extensive classes on-site online. They also propose uh, conversational workshops if you're interested. You can also take your French language certification there. And they also organize cultural events. Right, right now, everything is online. But again, we really hope next year we will be able to to do some things uh, on site. So you can see their website here. And don't hesitate to write to them. They're really uh, willing to help students. They already have have helped a lot of students uh, before. So don't hesitate. Uh, just to mention quickly, uh, one of the steps you will have to do to get a visa, uh, you will have to connect to the platform Etudes France. So this platform is not available right now in Malaysia, but it will be in October. So we, you will have to go through this platform uh, once you know you're selected. So it's quite easy. You have to create an account and it will, uh, all the steps will be explained and it will, uh, it will help you uh, get your visa afterwards. And I uh, just wanted to mention that every year uh, MFUC and Campus France Malaysia organize a pre-departure briefing in order to help you prepare for your stay in France. Uh, so normally it's uh, on-site as well. This year we have to do it online, unfortunately, but uh, we're still really happy because uh, it's always a good time to, to meet the future French students and to exchange on uh, the difficulties or the questions you might encounter before going. So as you can see, our program of the day is quite uh, quite rich. Uh, we have a, we will have a few quizzes. We have a message from the Embassy of France. I will present the different administrative procedures before going to France. Uh, but we also invited Malaysian students who are currently in France to share with us their experience. And then we will have a Q&A session. So really uh, try to remember that if you're selected for the program and if you go study in France, it's a, it's a good moment to ask all you all of your questions and uh, to exchange uh, on uh, on uh, the next step to go to go to France. Uh, to contact us if you have any questions uh, about studies in France, in more in general about the programs uh, of the biotech programs, I recommend to, to to contact them directly. But if you have administrative questions or more general questions, you can contact us. Anyway, we will do the link between the, the institutions. Uh, so you can follow us also on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. We even have a Twitter account, so we are a bit everywhere. So don't hesitate to connect yourself with us, to check our website. 
Don't try to call us for now because uh, we have new offices, but we cannot still go there. <laughs> we hope soon. But uh, you can reach to us via, via our, our email address, info at mfuc.org. Thank you, everyone. Terima kasih. Merci. Uh, please uh, don't hesitate uh, to contact us if you have uh, any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alice. So I hope that our participants enjoy the presentations and take note on the various scholarship opportunities for my fellow Malaysians. So now I believe we shall answer some questions that were sent to us during the presentations. So the first question is, um, what is the minimum academic requirement for MFUC scholarships? I think that Alice can take this question. Yes. So they, we didn't set any a, a minimum academic requirement, uh, but we take care of the school you choose. We, so if you're selected for a biotech program, for example, because they are the best school in, in, in the engineering field, uh, you're pretty sure your, your, your application will be uh, well checked and you will rank uh, in a high place, high position. Uh, so it, it really it really depends, but uh, it will depend on the school you are applying to in France and uh, what you've done before, your results before, but we didn't set a minimum academic requirement. Thank you for the clarifier, clar uh, clarified answer. So I think the next question will be addressed to Paritech, Paritech teams. So do Paritech have English taught programs in social science? I'm interested to study master in arts. Maybe uh, Florence, you can answer this question. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, actually, the, the schools are engineering schools, so they don't have so many um, programs in social sciences, but two of them actually, uh, Min Paritech and uh, Ecole des Ponts Paritech offers some master programs. Uh, some of them might be in English, so you have to check our uh, website, study with us, and uh, you can find some uh, master programs in social sciences and some of them are taught in English. It's related to the main topics of the school, so innovation, uh, transport, for instance. So it's... Thank you very much for your answer. So I have a uh, last question. Do you, need, do you need to get vaccinated to, in order to study in France? <laughs> No. I don't know who can answer Fra this question. I can answer. <laughs> yeah. France is still open. If you get a, if you get admitted to France and you have a student visa, you can go to France without a vaccine. And you actually you can get vaccinated in France. Uh, it's quite easy. The process is uh, really open, easier than in Malaysia, I would say, <laughs> for now. Um, but you will have to quarantine for seven days. That's the only difference. Uh, if you're vaccinated, uh, you don't have to quarantine. Oh, okay. So it depends whether you're vaccinated or not, but you can still go to France. That's yes. a great news. Yeah, yeah, that's a good news. We're really happy about it. <laughs> yeah. So we have another question from the question box. If I get this opportunity, I will be graduate in France or in Malaysia. So maybe uh, Laura can answer this question. Yes. You will graduate in France. So what happens is right now we are in the process. You're doing your application normally, right? And uh, by the end of November, you should know if you're admitted or not. But you are recruited for September 2022. So it means that before September 2022, you have to complete your bachelor degree in Malaysia, start learning French, and then you go to France uh, for your postgraduate studies and you stay two years. And after two years, you graduate from a Paritech school. Uh, so you graduate in France. Okay, Thank followed by, by the questions, I would like to know whether is there any possibility to do a double degree program or double master program between yeah. Paris, uh, Paritech universities? Uh, if the Paritech had agreements with Malaysian University, that would be possible. But for now, uh, I will let the others, my colleagues, uh, speak. But it's only possible if there is an existing agreement between the Paritech School and the Malaysian University. Okay. Not there on that. Uh, maybe other uh, teams from Paritech want to add on it? Maybe. Can, can, can I say something? The question is related to a double degree between two Paritech schools, right? Between two Paritech schools or? So yes, between it, two Paritech schools. So ah, it depends on the school where the, the, the candidate will be, will be admitted at first. Some schools have. We have double degree programs between us. 
but the, the rules depends on the school. If the international students are allowed or not to go through this program, it depends on the school. Yeah. Okay, so our participant need to make a thorough research, I believe, on the double degree program on Parité website. So next question we have, do you need an English test to get admitted to Parité or any French universities such as TOEFL or IELTS? Here I would maybe let uh, Campus France answer because we, uh, when it comes to Paritex schools, it's strongly recommended. But if we throw out the procedure, we notice that your English is tipped up. I mean, it's uh, strongly recommended, but not necessarily compulsory, which might not be the case for Campus France when you apply for a visa. Uh, anyway, having a good command of English is compulsory, otherwise you won't be able to go through the, 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 the admission program. Uh, you won't be able to follow courses in France. And then the second requirement is that before you leave for France, you have seven months during which you have to intensively study French. And maybe just, I don't know, if you need to improve your English, take the opportunity as well. But anyway, I think taking a test is always a good opportunity for you to know where you're, where you're at, actually. Thank you for your answer. Maybe Alice can uh, add on. Yes, just to add, uh, for other schools, it really depends on the program you're applying. Uh, some that are familiar with the Malaysian system and will see that you studied all your, your higher education years in, uh, in English. They might say, oh, it's enough. Uh, we will agree you should don't show your eyes or something. Uh, some will say you have to get it. So it really depends. Usually uh, it's good to ask before you apply. And you usually it's also written on the requirements. So it's really something uh, you can check directly from the website. But it's not mandatory to get the, the visa or anything. Okay, thank you very much for your answer. So do we have any other questions from our participants? Yeah. Yes, we have another question. The COVID in Malaysia is too much now. Are France still accepting Malaysia to come there? It's a good question. So are we allowed to go to France for the moment? Yes, you're still allowed to go to France. Uh, yeah, yeah, Malaysia, the French government separated the different countries in the world in seven categories, in three categories, sorry. Uh, and Malaysia is still in the orange one, so uh, students are welcome uh, to go to France. If they're vaccinated, as I said, they don't have to quarantine. And if you're not vaccinated, you have to self-quarantine yourself, you have to declare. Uh, but everything is explained on Campus France website. And if you have any, any questions about these procedures, because it's moving fast now, the situation is always evolving, uh, don't hesitate to write to us and to contact us because I can give you the latest information as well. Thank you very much, Alice. So we're still waiting if there's any... Yes, we have another one. So does Paritech offer any help for accommodation in Paris? Maybe like, um, I don't know, a Paritech specific accommodation for international students or uh, help in terms of administration? Yeah, so it, it depends again on the schools, but all of us we have, uh, we are offering accommodation facilities through our universities. And we have also what we call the welcome desk in each university and school. So it's very, it's, it's easy. Yeah, we, we can offer this without any, any restriction or difficulties. That's great. Thank you for the answer. So we're still waiting if you have uh, any more questions. Or maybe Paritech teams want to add something, uh, additional information for our participants, or Alice want to add something? Uh, may maybe we can say that uh, it's the first time actually that Paritech recruits now uh, students uh, in Malaysia, and we would be very happy to have excellent candidates for this program and to, to show our staff, academic staff, that they are excellent students in Malaysia and to join our schools and maybe do a PhD afterwards if you want to. It's possible also because the research is very important in our schools too. So it would be a pleasure to welcome you in France. That's great. And I so would I have uh, like my own question. I just want to know like, is it, um, there is a higher chance if I continue in Paritech uh, for master and then continue for PhD at the same university. Do I have a better chance to get accepted into the PhD level? Um, 
Uh, you mean if you have more chance to and to to be a part of the school if you are planning to do PhD later? Is that the question? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it's part of the individual uh, personal program and project of, for each one. So it depends the, about the motivation, but you have to know that the PhD programs are disconnected from the uh, master degree, for instance, because we have several uh, doctoral schools and disciplines, and all of them are not uh, uh, managed according to the same way than the master degree. Yes, but it actually um, in France, uh, you know, we have, if you are already in France for the engineering degree, it means you, you can speak French, you are integrated in the uh, French society, you had, uh, you, you have done a PhD, uh, an internship or two in companies, and then uh, you will have access to the French uh, funding system for, for PhDs and for instance we have a very specific uh, funding system is uh, uh, called CIF. Uh, it means you, you do your, your PhD under the supervision of a lab naturally in, in a school or in a university and also you do the PhD also in a company and uh, it's well paid. You have then an experience as a, a scientist, but also you publish articles, but also you have an experience in the, in the company. And uh, this type of profile is very uh, interesting for French companies, multinationals, uh, international companies who, who are uh, worldwide, represented worldwide also in Malaysia. So if you want to, to have an engineering degree in France first, you will get a, a very good experience uh, because the schools have strong links with industry, then you can do a PhD and then come back to Malaysia and work for French company or international companies, and your profile will be very interesting for them. And during the, the procedure, as I mentioned, there's also there's a document that's quite important, actually, as Fetty mentioned, you have to show to prove that you're motivated. And we ask you a professional project letter. That's a required document. But that's exactly the document in which you are given a chance to explain why you want to go to France, why you're targeting a specific school or schools. And that's the best way to sell actually your own uh, profile to, to the biotech schools. Mm. Thank you for answering that question. Do we have any other question from the question box? Yes. Do Paritech provide student exchange program for undergraduate students? So I think this would be for the undergraduate studies, not for the master studies. No, actually, the, the, the schools of Paritech, uh, as Laura mentioned, uh, is very specific in France. Uh, the, only the first year is undergraduate uh, uh, level, but the, the school are graduate schools. So we don't have any um, teaching uh, for students just after the A level, for instance. So we don't have anything. For undergraduates, we tried to do it last year, but then the COVID hit. Uh, we tried to have a summer school. So it's not an exchange program, but you might, if in 2022, the situation is back to normal, uh, there might be a summer school during two weeks uh, in, we, during which we'll be able to spend a bit of time in all the high tech schools. That's great to know. So another question we have, is it possible to do an exchange between the different Paritech schools? I will answer it by myself <laughs> because I already uh, 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 question you guys. So no, uh, it depends on the university itself because you need to go in details whether the Paritech school have a, a program to do an exchange between the Paritech schools. So next question is... Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we can add, uh, add something about the attendance week. Or Pierre, do you want to say some words? Or? Yes, just a quick <laughs> word. We have a short exchange program uh, between the, the Paritech school. It's a one week course that you can follow in any uh, any partner uh, uh, Paritech school and also when there is no um, global pandemic 
Uh, you can also follow it in another uh, European uh, university, but right now it's uh, working only between Paratech schools. So you, you have this opportunity twice a year, uh, one week in November, one week in March, to follow a, a course in another Paratech school. Yeah. Thank you, not on that. Thank you very much for answering. So we move on to the next questions. I have heard that the education in France is almost free or cheap. How expensive the cost be? Are there many scholarships from the school itself? So I will maybe I go back to the slide with the tuition fees from Paritech. Uh, to say it simply, the tuition range from a few hundred euros to uh, for thousand three hundred euros a year uh, in Paritech schools. But then you might have uh, tuition fee waivers depending if you are uh, yeah, if you have a scholarship or not depending on the country you come from etc so it, it is much cheaper than going to study in the united states or the uk already um, and then you can benefit either from scholarships at least mentioned the scholarships that are available specifically for uh, malaysian students and you have the french government uh, scholarship and really, if you have no other solution, some of the schools also have foundations that can um, provide scholarships. Okay, thank you for answering. So I would suggest our participants that to go study in France compared to US or the UK if you go to the, for a cheaper version. <laughs> and, and, if yeah. they really and, want to come to France, we will find a solution. That's the strongest yeah. message. Yeah. So at least take note for, for participants. Yeah. And then we have another question specifically for the Eiffel scholarship. What is the requirement to apply and do, do I need to have a French language certificate? I think Alice can answer this question. Yeah, actually, I think there is a French certificate that's mandatory for master level. Uh, but the most important thing usually is just a it's quite easy to get, but the most important thing is to get accepted into a, a program that's willing to endorse your, your application. Because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the school themselves who selects the students uh, who will be able to apply after uh, to Campus France for the FL scholarship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the school says to, to select the students and to apply for them. It's uh, by end of December, beginning of, of January. And there is, uh, to my knowledge, there is no uh, requirement for uh, lang French language for that. Uh, the selection process is very, very, very high. So uh, if you are on the top 5% of the, of the classes of, of your university, you might have a chance to get the, the scholarship. Yeah. So does it mean that the students who want to uh, uh, apply for the Eiffel scholarship, they need to be in France? First? No, they have to contact us, they have to be selected by us, and they have to contact us, and we will do all the procedure if we estimate that the level is okay for the, the final selection process by Campus France and by the, the jury. Uh, actually, we uh, our calendar is scheduled so that the, the candidates can uh, who are admitted can apply for the Eiffel scholarship if they are proposed for the scholarship by the schools they are in, admitted in. So okay. you you are you have a result uh, in the in the end of November latest, and then uh, you can apply for the scholarship if the school is ready to to propose you. Okay, that's great. So I think we don't have any more questions in the question box. So if you don't have, I would like to thank you very much, uh, our speakers, for answering those questions and for the great presentation. It was a pleasure to have you with us today. So ladies and gentlemen, we have now arrived at the end of our webinar session since all questions have been covered by our panelists. On behalf of MFUC, I would like to thank you all participants and our speakers for attending this webinar. We hope you gain something fruitful and beneficial from today's program. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Take care and stay safe. Merci. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye